Algester versus Wynnum Cup semi final. Algester with in the yellow and green, and Wynnum in the orange, blue, and white. That's Kai on the ball. They're defending him well. He knows he's a danger. Rakoa gets to half, looks to feed him on the p quickie punish. Step back, good touch, good footy, both sides. Well done, Jack. Good defence. Good attack, Kai. Communication is good. Ryder looking to release. Rakoa. No numbers here. He realises it. Tries to get Ryder on the outside. Good chase out by number one for Wynnum and number seven. That's Dominic and Jack. Jack Fitzpatrick, there's two Jacks on this side. Number 11, Jack Garnier. Here they go, Wynnum go forward. Good touch by number seven, that's Dominic. Good shooting by Ryder. Oh, footwork by Jack Garnier. And turnover, slippery ball. Rain is gone, but the dark clouds are still here. We've got the lights on the fields here at Runcorn Eye. Lucky enough to have flood lit fields. Clubhouse coming next year. Touch Academy program continues to grow and grow. There's 56 students here today refereeing, managing on the camera and organising the day. It's great to have them. Nearly an overlap. Trying to get on the outside. Unable to do so. Good defence there. Try to punish the link for making that touch, but he pulls corner well. He's got support on his inside. No try there. Here go the Wynnum juggernaut. You watch their rucking, it's clinical. That one wasn't the greatest start to their set, but they just build on like a steam train. Watch this, there's touch two. Look at that! That's Jack Garnier! DG! Can't get through. Looking to go forward here. So they're slowing it down after that good run, which is how El to get set. Tries to run off the back of that one, gets off the mark. Coach Bo Singleton with Wynnum. And Chris Follish and Chris Jones for Elgester. Dummy, he fell for that. And I think that was ball down, and it was. And Chris Jones for Elgester. Dummy, he fell for that. And I think that was ball down, and it was. 51s, benefit at the, that time going with the attack. So 1 0 to win them in the semi final. Let's see what Al Jester can do. Not afraid to throw the ball around, Al Jester. Doesn't matter if it's raining. They'll stick to their game because they're very good at it. Steps inside on that Kai, releases to Ryder, hopefully. He does that. And then gets the link, the other link to make that touch. It makes their middles chase really hard, but they're doing that really well, Wynnum. They're all tied in and locked in defensively. Ryder. No space there. They turn back. Good hands, Ryder. He releases. Stepping on the inside. He misses him there. Ryder trying to get around his man. Unable to do so. So good defense by Al Jester. Uh, Wynnum, sorry. And Al Jester's turn to defend. Here comes the juggernaut. Rucking through their middle. Second touch so far today has been dominant by Wynnum. Something for Al Jester to fix up today and going into all schools touch two defense fix up their shooting here they are defending their line all of a sudden so from attacking the line to defending the line have they got the answers they shut they shut yeah good defense I was touched in the air so good signaling there by referee Maya Creswell Tino and win them have another set what will they run here They might look for a little quickie early on. They run the sweeper off the quickie. And no shape. So Rakoa in good body position looking to make that. He makes it. They run the open side quickie. Jack is from half, so he can't score. We call that a dead player. He can't score. That's not a live. A live player can score. Half can't. Setting it up again. DG. Good footwork, doesn't he? Gets to the side. That's seven. Dolmonic at half trying to release a link and El Jester awake to it. So both teams getting out all their trick shots, not getting many answers from them. 
Both teams know each other well, done their homework. Oh, they throw that away, El Jester. That can't hurt. So they've got to defend hardier. Range staying away. The clouds going around. The lights are on here. And we have a touch pass on field two. That is Pullaval versus Cleveland. The other semi-final field two. Jack DG picks up. Trying to release his winger. And touch pass. Great call. Let's look at the replay. Final field two. Jack DG picks up. Trying to release his winger. And touch pass. Great call. Let's look at the replay. And well done. Lockie there in defence for Algester. Algester, part of the Runcorn State High School Touch Academy affiliate program. And Wynnum have also had a couple of training sessions here in our Oval, so just sharpen themselves up for Blues Cup. So both teams using the expertise of the Runcorn Touch Academy to help them improve. And that's why they're in the big dance here in the semi final. Tribal Sports Blues Cup 2021. Wynnum gets down low. That's Dominic. As Cleveland with a runaway. Great try by number 16 for Cleveland. Back to live action here for Wynnum. Stop, st steady go, not square, turnover anyway. So, Algester quick on the ball. This is where they're good. Quick on the turnover and they just make you pay straight away. If you're not awake to it, like that's 20 metres. They're at halfway. That's touch one. The great Phil Gilmore calls that an A-plus set. Touch one at, at halfway. That's uh, Caleb. Back to Kai. T releases him. There's Lockie. He's got Rakoa. Calls the ball back and inside the seven. Not moving up. Must move up, says referee Captain Jada Phillips. Tuck in the line, looking to punish the link. Gets down low. Great touch by number seven, Dom Olnick. The Dominator is his nickname. Just got him on the back. Lovely touch three. By number three, that's Ruben. And Rakoa knew it. He gave it straight back to the mark. Tried to get in half, couldn't do it. Next job. Down one nil. Elgis are getting their heads down here. They've got to lift them up and keep fighting. Game's not over. You can't change that one, but you can change the next one. Hard touch there, so they'll just play the touch. It's Lachlan, he's double touches there, well done defensively. So you've got to stop this Wynnum juggernaut from rucking through you. And they're doing that now. Wynnum twice off the mark, you don't see that very often at all. You don't want that in a final. Both Singleton will definitely see that and try to pick up on it with their rucking. And now they're picking up from half, going nowhere. Looking to get around them and nearly created something and we get a touch and pass. So Al Jester win that set in terms of the field position battle. Both teams put fresh legs on, trying to keep the momentum of the game up. As that set slowed down a little bit there for Wynnum. Probably their worst rucking set of the game and Al Jester was probably their best rucking set of the game. Trying to get back into it. Momentum's the big thing here in touch footy. You get that with one ruck and unfortunately we get a drop. Heads up, Ryder. You've had a great carnival. Don't let that get you down, mate. Here come Wynnum. Can they get their machine, this steam train rolling with their rucking? Ice cream van is heading off, ladies and gentlemen. That's Dippin' Dots. They've sold out. No more dipping and dopping for the people here. Wynnum with a long ball. That's seven. Holds the ball with two hands. Gets a winger to slide off, but gee, it was a nice touch. Try saver. Long ball, the Harbour Bridge. That would have been 25 metres. And the five metre ball inside hits the ground. Funny how that happens sometimes, isn't it? Here you go, Eljester, working up the far edge. Trying to find the middle. Caleb tries to drive at him. Unable to get it. Gets the link. Misses the touch there. So smart play by number one 
for Wynnum. That's Jack Fitzpatrick. Fitzy, as he's known to his mates. And a turnover straight back. So both teams struggling with their heavy legs. Sixth game of the carnival. And that's a ball down too. Yeah, lost control. That went forward in the roll ball. Three mistakes in a row. You don't see this from these two teams. That shows you the difficulty of this tournament. The winner of this will play their seventh game in two days. So this will give great preparation for their fitness for all schools. And look, the steam train of rucking of Wynnum is back. Coach Bo Stingleton has fixed that up. That was Ruben Burns with a great ruck before. There he is on the ball. And created a bit of an overlap. And six to go. As the rain circles its way back around, so it's a few sprinkles hitting down, and that's maybe hindering Elgester's long ball capabilities. Yeah. Caleb makes that touch. They try to punish him, decide to set up again. Dominic. That's ball down, they go forward off here. William continue with their racking. Last touch they pick up, that's number 12. Tia Kia, she try, he tries to release number 7, Domonique. And unable to get around them. They roll the subs. Smart subbing there. Not normally wise to sub in defence, but if it's a slow turnover, you can get a couple off. Good shooting there by uh, young Jack. Trying to release. Looking for a scoop. They run the sweeper. Try to release, step back on the inside. Lovely try. Offside is the call by Jada Phillips, six to go. So it was a touch by the link and the middle was offside, affected the play. So they get six more fresh touches. So smart refereeing, played a bit of an advantage and unfortunately they've dropped it. So here's Wyndham's chance. 11 minutes to go. It's only 1-0. It's a tight arm wrestle. A few hands on hips here by Wynnum. They've got to get their steam engine rucking going. They need to send a shooter, Elgester. They get that. Here's that third touch. They didn't win the second touch that time. Elgester awake to a good action by the coaching staff of Elgester. And setting their, their wave here again to get another kill. See Wynnum. Last touch. And that's a turner, six touches. El Jester on the ball. Rucking hard, that's a great first touch. Can they back it up with another one? And they get it, good drive there. Here they go, shifting the ball. Now, long ball. That another one twist. Rakawa trying to get outside the middle. DG gets there and he got down low. And that'll touch. Touch on the f f 
before the ball was down. Great question by Rakoa. Tries to get outside the middle. Tracks the lead. And great touch. Gee, it's good ball. Both teams throwing everything at it. Unable to get a line. Trying to get around them. Looking for a long ball. And good shot. Number one, Jack Fitzpatrick. Fitzy kills the play. I'll just to lose a few metres, but I like that they're trying to play a bit of footy. Trying to get create something in this game. So Wyndham going sideways. You don't normally see that. And they get the second touch. That's the Knight Rider. Getting in front there, making a great touch. There's Kai, might have jarred his finger there in that touch. That's a bit of an ouchie. You feel those ones for a few days. Keep powering on, he does. And there's uh, Fitzy. Fitzy created an opportunity. So here's Wynnum getting down the other end. Now Jester trying to hold him out. 1-0 to Wynnum. Trying to get around the outside. As Rakawa got the speed, he does. So Ruben did a great job. And turnover. So it's 34 to go. Just to try to hold on as with another runaway on field two against Pullenvale boys. So Wynnum, can they get another try here and really put the pressure on Algester? They run a little quickie, picks up from they switch on that when they had the nuts. And he throws a long ball and they throw it to the ground. So, Algesta coming off their line. Good first ruck. They back it up with a second. He, he, dancing feet. Gets some metres. He goes high, Driving and offside. <laughs> Nearly a... A shepherd, an obstruction, but he made the touch anyway. So they play on, right driving, recover at half. Trying to make something, driving for Ryder. Ryder drives for Rakoa. They go at DJ, he throws a long ball. Great catch by Kai, throws it back to Rakoa. He's looking to stop and go on the outside, and he might do that. And DJ follows him and gets a turnover. Trying to get out of trouble here. Win them. And they do that there. Both teams digging deep. And, and good touch by Rakoa. And that he's working hard for his team. Showing him some really great leadership. Win them. Just doing enough at the moment. Turning the ball over where you need to. Great touch. Ryder. The Knight Rider, he saved him there. That was a certain try. So DJ's side, DJ's offside. So Kai runs and gets some good metres. Heavy ball. Gets away with it. Caleb in and away. Drives the traps the winger in. We're trying to fit the uh, screen at the moment. Just had the, the connection down. Hopefully you can still hear me. That's Caleb working it to his right. Gives it to Rakoa. He's that right link. Throws it to that wing. Try to bring the winger up. Try to punish him on the roll ball. Rock goes back to that side on the short side. Releases open side. Caleb, that's the middle. Kai is the other middle. He slows it down. Drives back towards the middle. The ball down as he tries to pass to the link. We've got our coverage a screen back now. Apologies for that. And Wynnum coming off their line. Five minutes to go. Just over five. And we might have an injury. And we have an injured player. So we're just going to hold the play for a second. We'll keep the screen off him. It's uh, young Kai Hill. I think he might have jarred his wrist. He hurt his wrist yesterday as well. So he's up now, guys, who are watching from home, family and supporters. He's okay. He's uh, walking off the field now. So 
Good to see he's okay. He's worked incredibly hard for his team. So, five minutes to go. The clock keeps ticking here. Gator, get it started. There's no time off. Get on the ball. Winham, we resume play with Winham's roll ball. And here's the roll ball. Winham tucking the line, that's number three, Ruben. And he gets touched off the mark. They have a bit of an overlap here, and he slices through. That could and he gets touched off the mark. They have a bit of an overlap here, and he slices through. That could be the match winner. That's over they go. And El Jester need to play fast here. Here they go. They need something here. They get their dancing feet on of Lockie. Ryder working hard. Steps off his left and right. Straightens up. Gets two in the touch. Lockie looks to pick up and looks to punish. Long ball back. Release. Back to Ryder. Ryder to Lockie. Lockie to Rakoa. Rakoa surveys what's the best option. He decides to go. I'm going to drive here. And gets touched there. They throw it back. Lockie. He's hard to... Get a hold of one on one. He needs a one on one though. Trying to run a switch, they able to get it. Caleb gets touched. They run the quickie. I'll just a bit flustered trying to create something. And they nearly do. They play the touch before the drop ball. That's Caleb. Good defense there by number 12. That's Tick Kaya. Excuse me. And there's Ryder getting touched. Turnover. An need to shoot here, Old Jester. Good work there. Here you go, Winham. Shooting up through the middle. Two minutes, 50 and counting, 49, 48. The, the time keeps ticking. Time waits for no one. He can catch the tension with a, life, with a knife here. I'll try to get my teeth back in and spit those words out. Great touch. That's the Knight Rider. Off goes Rakoa, dummy. Drives hard. They need a hit. Our rider takes off. They check back. And he splits again, trying to punish this link here. That's Fitzy, trying to get him tired. There's Ryder. They pick up off that. They release. There's Lockie. They want to drive back here for Rakoa. He's going to survey the best option. He's off. And clear. Three was offside. He recognised that. And that's a try, 2-1. And there's two minutes to go. And it's 2-1 to win him. Okay, Wyndham tapped the ball. That's DG. Semi-finals, Tribal Sports, Blues Cup 2021. The winner goes to the grand final, the loser goes home. And that's Fitzy, trying to create something. DG. That's six touches. Turn over there. El Jets has got a minute. Rakoa comes out of half, and good shot defense by Wyndham. 36 seconds and counting. They need some shooters here. You can't throw the ball away, so it's 10 meters. That's the right call. It's a tap. And here they go. Need a turnover. And Wyndham need to just play out the clock here.
And that's full time. And Wynnum get the win, 2-1. They're ecstatic. They're through to the grand final of a Blues Cup. This is what it means to them. They want their name on the trophy. Second name to go on it. Commiserations to the Old Jess. They've had a great tournament. We weren't able to get up in the semi-final. We look forward to our next game, which will be the boys' grand final. We'll be back after a short break with a few messages from our sponsors. <laughs> 